Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to use the sweep feature in the Microsoft Outlook webmail client. So this is used just to kind of clean up your inbox. Uh, it's similar to rules, uh, but it works a little bit differently. So I'll kind of show you how it works here. So to use it, just pick a, pick a recipient. You can pick more than one if you want, but we're just going to do one. You click on the sweep icon here. So you have several options. So for this sender here, you can move all messages from the inbox folder to delete it as default. Uh, you could pick a different folder or you could actually create a new folder. And then you have the other option to move all messages from the inbox and any future messages uh, to that folder that you specify there. So this will create a sweep rule. And then always keep the latest message and move the rest from the inbox folder. So it'll keep the newest one, then move any older ones to the folder of choice here. And then always move messages older than 10 days to that folder. All right, so we have this uh, Cindy Sims that sent us email, so we have some other emails from her, like that. So we're going to click on her name here, and first we're going to do the uh, always move messages older than 10 days. And instead of deleted, we're going to make a new folder called Cindy. Okay, so anything older than 10 days should go to the Cindy folder, so we'll click OK. And now you can see it made a rule. So you click on View Rules. You have a sweep rule here. So any messages from Cindy over 10 days old will move to this Cindy folder. And then you could turn it off or delete it from here. So another way to get to these rules is from your Settings icon here, View All Outlook Settings. And then you have Rules and Sweep Rules. So rules are something you could customize from this rule section. The sweep rules apply to the sweep section that we're talking about right now. So you, you'll have stuff in both, possibly. Okay, so now if we go to the Cindy folder, you can see we have all these uh, older emails that have moved into there. Okay, so now if we go back here, go back to Sweep. If we click the Move All Messages from the Inbox folder to Cindy, this will move everything from the inbox into Cindy. So that one's gone now too, and it doesn't make a sweep rule, it's just a one-time thing. You, you could tell the difference because uh, if it doesn't say view rules afterwards, you know it was just a one-time thing. So let's uh, put this email back here, or just one of the emails back. Okay, so now let's do move all messages from the inbox folder and any future messages. And make sure you pick Cindy. So this is the key. It goes to deleted by default. So if you don't want it there, make sure you remember to change it if you use this here. Okay, so that was done. So view rules. Now you can see this work gets a little confusing. For this type of sweep, it put it under the rules. So the message from Cindy was moved to the Cindy folder and then stop pressing processing the rule here. But we still have the sweep one here, so this is going to apply as well. So make sure these aren't contradicting each other. So I'm going to turn this one off. So we just now have the, uh, if the message was received from Cindy, move it to Cindy and, and stop processing rules. So now let's uh, send a new one to her. Or from her, I should say. So now this should go straight to her, to the Cindy folder when it comes in. Okay, so you can see we have new email here. So there's the new. So now any email from Cindy is going to go into the Cindy folder because we have this rule. Your settings and then to rules. So like I said, this one is a rule compared to a sweep rule here. So probably be based on the type of uh, procedure it is, it has to put it under a rule. So we're going to turn that off. Let's go back into Cindy. Let's move this into the inbox. All right, so now let's do always keep the latest message and move the rest from the inbox folder to Cindy. Once again, always remember to pick your folder. So now any new messages that come in should stay and then the rest should go into the Cindy folder. 
So let's view the rule for that. Okay, so this is under sweep. So for messages received from Cindy, keep the latest one and move the rest to Cindy. And this is turned off. So if this was turned on, they're going to be, you know, working together. So just keep that in mind if you have things that aren't working right. Okay, so now if we send a new one, this one should go to the Cindy folder. And then the one that just comes in should go stay in the inbox. Let's call this new new. Okay, give it a second to come in. All right, so you see that the new new one came in, yet this one is still in the inbox. And this is because sweep rules run once per day, where the regular rules, let me go back to the settings. This is a sweep rule. This is gonna run once per day, where these other rules you know, act on messages as they come in, depending on uh, what type of email it is. You can see uh, rules that tell Outlook how to handle incoming email messages. You know, they trigger rules based on, you know, what you set up there. So if you're wondering why this is still there, it's because the sweep rules haven't run yet. So this will eventually get moved into the Cindy folder and it'll keep the new one because we have that rule set up to always keep the latest message and move the rest of the inbox folder. All right, so that's the basic overview of the sweep rules. Like I said, it's, you know, some are just a one-time thing. Some are a rule that will run on incoming messages as they come in. And this other one, like you just saw, is a sweep rule where it's going to run once per day. So as you create them, you know, just kind of go to your rules here from your settings and check both sections here and just kind of make sure you don't have things contradicting each other you know, because something might overwrite the other one. So, for example, this rule might act before the sweep rule acts, you know, or kicks in, since that sweep rule is only once a day, and it might mess you up here. And then also, as you have these rules, if you have multiple rules, so you could just disable it, delete it, edit it, uh, move it up and down in the list here. And actually, for regular rules, you could press this play button to run it right now, where the sweep rules are just a, you know, once a day type thing, and you can't really do anything with it. I think you might be able to change the order if you have uh, multiple sweep rules there, and then you could delete it as well. So hopefully that makes sense. You know, the best way to do it is just to maybe pick an account or email recipient and start playing with the rules and see how it works for you, and then you could kind of fine-tune it after that. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.